With any atrocity, I think getting the scale of it across is one of the real challenges. What the VR does is it, it puts you directly in the shoes of a, of a survivor, of a victim of the genocide, of the atrocities committed by ISIS against the Yazidi minority. It really gave you a sense of what it must be like being in that space and living in that community and the fear that they must have gone through. You know, you can watch films generally and, and it does connect with people, but I, I think the level of emotional connection when you're in the space, because you do really immerse yourself in that actual environment and just even just to see what their day-to-day -day life would have been like. The normal every day of the setting which is turned on its head um, which is something I think anyone should be able to engage with you know the idea that you know your local school could suddenly be turned upside down by an event that um, tore you away from your family it's that made it real. It's given me a completely different outlook I can I can feel how that person what they've gone through their experience and it builds that understanding and gives me that knowledge to want to go and help or do some social action, call to action to try and improve things. The moment that perhaps is the most human moment for me was the, the separation of the mother and the daughter. That's going to stay with me forever. It's one thing to read a news story, it's another thing to see this.